Hi, I'm Megan Flynn. I'm a registered dietitian here with The Fresh Market, and I'm here with Peter Mays, who's our director of meat merchandising. Affectionately, we call him Meat Pete. So, Pete, how did you get started in the meat industry? I started on our family farm. Did you? Uh, yeah, as, as a teenager. Uh, eventually, that evolved into the start of my career, learning from professional old world butchers, oh, and wow. learned all the different cuts from all the different species from top to bottom. Pete, how do I tell meat is fresh? A lot of times when I go to a grocery store, you see it already packaged. So what do I ask the butcher? There, there's a few indicators of freshness. Um, one is visual. It needs to be red. That's the number one indicator of, of freshness for beef. However, there's some industry practices that pumps carbon monoxide into the prepackaged container to extend the visual redness appearance of those products. And how, as a consumer, would you be able to tell We're starting that? to talk about a theme here. It all goes back to trust in your source, trust okay. your butcher. There's three different grades of beef. Can you take me through those and what the difference is? Sure. There's more than three in total, but the three that you'll commonly find at a grocery store are prime being the top, choice being the kind of the middle tier, and then select being the, the entry level or the lower tier. So that what does the fresh market carry in terms of grades? The two grades we carry are prime, which is what you're gonna find at the fanciest steakhouses across the country. And then what we call premium choice. We only buy from the top part of the choice program, which means it has the highest marbling of all choice. We have some examples here. Can you take me through? Because as a consumer, I'm not sure that I would know the difference. A a absolutely. Which is why you have to trust your butcher <laughs> <laughs> to tell you about. So this is, this is a marbling example, okay. an example of what the exterior fat means to the consumer and then to us here at the Fresh Market. So, so on our right here, we have a New York strip steak that we just bought from in, a, in average grocery store. Okay. What you'll notice is there's about a quarter inch of fat around this entire product and some gristle that one, won't cook down and two, adds absolutely no value to the product. Conversely, you look at our product, we remove all exterior fat from each individual steak. There's no reason for it. We don't want you to pay for it, so we take it off for you. What marbling is, is it's the flex of fat within the lean part of the muscle. It's okay. not the fat around the exterior of the product. Okay. No fat on the outside. We don't want fat on the outside. It doesn't serve a purpose, except for you're spending more money on, on a product that you can't consume. So marbling is key. Marbling matters, marbling okay. matters. Aging is extremely important. Can you explain that to me? There's two forms of tenderization in the industry. There's mechanical, which is where the beef is run through a machine and needled. It's punctured with needles along a process. What that does is mechanically tenderize it by breaking up the fibrous tissue within the muscle. Ah, okay. okay. The end result is the same, except for this. Needling poses more of a risk. Food safety, of it's all It's all food safety. Yeah. Effectively, what needling does is it takes the outside bacteria that t typically cooks off during the cooking process and pushes it down into the middle of your meat. So if you are a medium rare person or a medium Do person, not want that. it increases your risk. Aging on, on the other side is a natural process. It's a timeless process. And what that is, it's holding meat over an extended period of time and letting natural enzymes do the work for you. Okay, so and how long do we age our beef at the fresh market? A minimum, minimum of 14 days. Fantastic, and it's natural aging. It's natural aging. Okay. How do you cook the perfect steak? There's two main ways to cook the perfect steak. Outdoor cooking, indoor cooking, of course. Outdoor, charcoal grill. Okay. Inside, sear it off on the cast iron, pop it in the oven. So nothing more than a little olive oil, salt and pepper, flip it once. Less is more. Okay, I love it. What are you excited to grill this summer? I'm really excited about our tomahawk ribeye steaks coming out. These things are massive. It's going to take a long time to cook. It's going to be packed with flavor, and, and they're going to be a lot of fun. That seems perfect for Father's Day. It really does. Oh, that's awesome. Well, we have a lot of really great stuff to grill. Thank you for sharing your tips, Pete. No, thank you so much. It's, it's been a pleasure.